Hi everyone, now we will discuss 3D projections. In the previous video, we have learned the 3D viewing pipeline. In that pipeline, we have completed till the viewing coordinates. Once the world coordinate is transferred to viewing coordinate, it should be projected in my view plane. Right? So, till my viewing coordinate in 3D viewing pipeline, it will be 3 coordinates. Right? And in projection coordinates only, this third um, this three coordinates, three dimensions is converted into two dimensions. So this projection is used for converting this three dimensions into two dimensions. Right. So there are two types of projections: parallel projection and perspective projection. We'll see what is perspective projection. In perspective projection, the distance between the camera and the object is finite. Right. So the distance between the camera, camera and the object is finite. This camera point I say, say is center of lens. Right. And these straight lines are um, projection lines. Right. And this is my view plane or projection plane where I'll get my image. Right. So, from each vertex of the object, I have to draw straight lines passing through the view plane to the camera and to the center of my camera. Right. So, these straight lines are known as projection lines. How, what is projection lines? From each vertex of the object, straight lines through view plane to camera center is known as projection lines. Since uh, the distance between camera and the uh, object is finite in perspective projection all the projection lines it will converge at the uh, camera center and this point I will say is center of projection or COP right since the distance between camera and the object is finite all the projection lines it will converge in COP right uh, that is my perspective projection that's what it is given here. And next is parallel projection. Right? In parallel projection, the distance between the camera and the object is infinite. Right? Since it is infinite, the COP is replaced with DOP. That is, I'll have, I'll have this parallel lines. It won't converge in any point. So, COP, that is center of projection, is replaced with direction of projection. That is my parallel projection. So, the main difference between perspective and parallel projection is perspective, the distance between camera and the object is finite. Here in parallel projection, the distance between the camera and the object is infinite. Right. Uh, next, we can see the types of parallel projection. Right. Uh, so, the first type is orthographic projection and second is oblique projection. What is orthographic projection? Right. Uh, uh, so, we will see axonometric orthographic projections. Right. Uh, suppose if I view any object, uh, right, uh, I can have front view, top view, side view. Right. I can view at one, one face. Right. Suppose if I want to view more than one face, I can go for this axonometric projection. This axonometric projection helps you to view more than one face of an object at a time. Right, axonometric projection helps you to view more than one face of an object at a time. That is my axonometric projection. Right, the most com um, this axonometric projection is divided into again it is divided into three types. First is isometric, diametric, and Trimetric. We will see this isometric projection. In isometric projection, the angle between the three axes it will be equal. That is, the angle between the three axes it will be 120. So, 120, 120, 120, totally I will get as 360. Right? So, isometric projection can be generated by aligning the view plane so that it intersects each coordinate axis in which the object is defined at the same distance from the origin. Right. So, this um, isometric view of a cube it is given here. Right. So, the angle between the coordinate axis is 120 degree in isometric projection. 
Next, coming to oblique projection, right? In orthographic projection, the angle between the projection lines, angle between the projection lines and the view plane, it will be 90 degree. Right, orthographic projection, the angle between the projection lines and the um, view plane, it is 90 degree. But in oblique projection, it won't be 90 degree. Right. So again, this oblique projection is divided into two types, cavalier projection and cabinet projection, depending upon the angle that it makes with the projection plane, depending upon the angle between the projection lines and the projection plane, I can divide oblique projections into two types, cavalier projection and cabinet projection. In cavalier projection, the angle will be either 45 or um, 30, right? But in cabinet projection, it will be 63.4, uh, right? The angle between the direction of uh, projection or the projection lines and the view plane will be 63.4. Out of this two cavalier and cabinet, this cabinet will be more real more it will give you more realistic image because in cavalier we can see this uh, right uh, cabinet will be more realistic because in cavalier this depth right uh, this depth will be the sum of this um, width and height right uh, this sum of width and height will be your depth but here this depth will be half of this half of this width and height will be your depth so here i have uh, projected a cube i have projected a cube so since it is making 63.4 degree with the projection plane this cabinet projection cabinet projection will be more realistic that is this depth it will be half of this two half of this two but here this depth will be the sum of these two sum of this and this right so what is the use of this projection conversion of 3d to 2d so we again we are having two types parallel and perspective we have seen the types of parallel projection now we can see the types of perspective projection right you know perspective projection since the distance between camera and the object is finite all the direction of projections that is this projection lines it will converge in cop right at this point i say as vanishing point i'll say as vanishing point and the vanishing point parallel to the principal coordinates will be principal vanishing point or axis vanishing point Again, this um, perspective projection, I have three types, one point, two point and three point projection. Here, this one point projection is uh, to any one of the axis. <coughs> I'll have this projection line uh, parallel to any one of the coordinate axis. Right, that is one point perspective projection. I'll repeat this projection lines will be parallel to any one of the coordinate axis right that is one point perspective projection this is my cop here two point perspective projection is projection lines it will be parallel to two axis here this is parallel to x axis these projection lines is parallel to x axis and it is converging here and these projection line it is parallel to um set the axis and it will be converging here right this is two point perspective projection right similarly i can have three point perspective projections so these are the things under 3d projections thank you